TV at vafatv.com. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of VAFA TV, coming to you from uh, beautiful Sports Cover Arena on a wonderful sunny day. Hasn't the temperature just been magnificent over this month of May? Let's hope the conditions are a bit, a bit better on Saturday than they've been over the past couple of weekends. We're going to take a look at the marks and goals of the week, of course catch up with the next edition of uh, Anytime Fitness's Ultimate Athlete. We're also going to see uh, what Ryan Hammy Goodman has to say with his notes from the VAFA. But firstly, just some news this week. Of course, we saw the, the suspension of a couple of Zaz players and those incidents are playing on your screen now. Beetham getting four weeks for, for this bump and uh, John Shaw getting uh, three weeks for this one, this front-on contact. And it does show that, uh, you know, much like in the AFL we saw with the, the, the bump is not dead, it's certainly alive and well in the VAFA. But uh, if, you, if you infringe and, and get around the head area, you are in trouble. And uh, those two players have been suspended by the tribunal. In other VAFA news, the big V selectors have released their VAFA representative squads. The seniors will take on AFL Queensland up in Queensland on the Queen's birthday weekend. Almost all of the squad that defeated the Eastern Football League are in that uh, large selection of over 40 players. They'll train over the coming uh, three weeks in the lead up to that Queen's birthday weekend before we get a final 22 that travels up to Queensland. The under 23 VAFA side also takes on uh, the Tasmanian Football League down in uh, Hobart. They will uh, head down on that Queen's birthday weekend as well. That squad also flashing up on your screen. They're great to see such a large number of clubs represented over two squads. The other 23s will train here at Sports Cover Arena on the next two Wednesday nights before a Tuesday, Thursday session in the lead up to that Queen's birthday weekend. Whilst the senior squad will train at Harry Trot Oval on the, uh, the next two Wednesday nights before moving to Collingwood's Westpac Centre for that Tuesday and Thursday in the lead up to travelling up to Queensland. Congratulations to all players selected in those two squads. Of course, we have more representative football later in the year on the July weekend when our Premier B to Division 4 side will take on uh, the Victorian Country Football League or the AFL Victoria Country uh, side and also our under-19 representative side will take on AFL Victoria Country on that July by weekend. Right, that's all the news in the VAFA. Let's now have a look at uh, the marks and goals of last weekend. The VAFA BLK Mark of the Year. Mark A, Daniel Anthony, Old Brighton. Mark B, Michael Schaefer, Ajax. Mark C, Jack Davis, Ormond. Has been burnt out for always in that bubbles down. Vote for your favourite mark at VAFATV.com. The VAFA two times you goal of the year. Goal A, Matt Hanley, Old Zabiri. Great mark by Chopper Hanley. He plays on, what are you doing? Matt just to get free, sends it up towards goal and he's kicked it. That's what he's doing. Oh, look at what he was doing, playing on. Goal B, Lachlan McLeod, Old Carey. Goal C, Lachlan Ferguson, Collegian. D, Lachlan Smith, Old Zavarians. Goal E, Dean Kelly, Mazenod. Vote for your favourite goal at VAFATV.com. No visit this week, but we're very keen to go out and see what your club does on a Thursday night. If you'd like to have VAFA TV down to your club on a Thursday night, the details are on the screen of how to get in touch and uh, let us know that you'd like us to come and do VAFA TV at your club, and we'll see if you've got someone that we can include in the competition for VAFA TV's Search for a Star. Right, as I mentioned earlier, Hammy Goodman's taking a look at uh, the VAFA, and here's Hammy's notes from the VAFA. Do you like grainy footage of UFOs? Well, we've got some for you here. The object was later identified to be an Oakley player. 
He flew higher than Harold and Kumar, but couldn't quite hold what would have been a strong contender for Mark of the Year. Still a few weeks before Christmas in July, but former AFL star Joel McDonald is already treating himself to a nutmeg. Limited access to the MCG due to the recent addition of wires saw Melbourne's seagull population shift their AGM to Frias and Oval in Clayton. Fair to say, it was a decision that raised eyebrows due to the significant distance between Clayton and the coast. Shout out to the Blues Tuck Shop ladies who must be doing a good job on the chips. Three ambulances were called to VAFA matches over the weekend. In Pegg's match against Banyul, it was great to see Pegg centre-half back Jared French on hand to assist Banyul's Lincoln Burns after he was concussed in their game. Jared is trying to be a paramedic and an absolute legend. They say the best offence is a good defence. Something in that message obviously got lost in translation as this Mazenod player found himself on defence. And this umpire, like a lost fast bowler, unexpectedly found himself in the slips. Anytime Fitness have been continuing their search along with Vapor TV for the VAFA's Ultimate Athlete. Let's have a look at this week's edition of Anytime Fitness's search for the Ultimate Athlete. The VAFA's Ultimate Athlete, thanks to Anytime Fitness. Feel something better at an Anytime Fitness gym near you. This week's contestant is Danny Manning from Swinburne University. Contestants in the Anytime Fitness Ultimate Athlete receive a prize pack from official supplements partner Masashi, including a tub of Masashi Muscle Defence specifically formulated to help defend hard-earned muscle gains during times of rest. The pack is worth over $180 thanks to Masashi. And go! So let's see how Danny goes around each of the cones here. Looks like a slowish time, yep, over 8 seconds. Have a look at these other ones. So we combine them all there for a total of 25.58. That puts him in fifth overall in the agility. Danny struggling to lift his own weight here. That looks like a total score of eight. Again, fifth in the chin-ups. On to the vertical leap now to see how high he can jump here. Danny's our tallest competitor at 186 centimetres. Let's see how he jumps here. And 36% of his height. That's pretty good. It puts him in second. Danny, our heaviest competitor at 86 kilos, having to lift 64. So it's a bit of a struggle so far. Let's see how many you can do. Just the one. And struggling with that. So it's going to be a total of one for fifth place. Onto the row now, a thousand metres in the fastest time. Danny said he was looking forward to this one. We'll see how he goes as we race through his row. Stops the clock at 3.29 and fourth overall in the row. I think he might be uh, pretty fit on the footy field, but you come out here and do something a little bit different. Probably puts uh, everything in a little bit of perspective, really. Oh, probably the things I was better at, like the jumping and, uh, and the row. Yeah, fancy myself a bit more of a, of a runner than a, than a weightlifter. To the leaderboard and Danny slots in at fifth with Harry Lay still on top from Uni Blacks. Join us next week as we continue the search for VAFA TVs and Anytime Fitness's Ultimate Athlete. That's all we've got time for from VAFA TV this week. Hope you can join us next week. We'll be back out looking at uh, one of the VAFA clubs. We've seen almost half of them now over the two and a half years of VAFA TV. We've had great success and a great interest going out to see the clubs and we'll be out at one next week. Not sure who yet. We'll wait and see. Make sure you tune in next week. Bye. Bye for TV at vafatv.com.